G'day there folks, I'm Beanie, you're watching Beanie Draws, and I don't know if you'll be able to notice, but my voice is like this because I have just come back from the dentist. Also, outside there is construction works going on, but all that aside, I've decided I'm going to try and do a tutorial. This may be a tutorial Tuesday video, if not, it'll just be a tutorial for the sake of doing it. Why am I doing this tutor tutorial? Well, I thought it'd be funny and entertaining to see if I can do a tutorial with a numb tongue and a numb lip. <laughs> so here we go, I'm going to be drawing a, um, an Apatosaurus, Brontosaurus. Um, I'm going to try and do this in a more tutorial way, so let's see how we go, shall we? Um, what we want to do is we want to do a body, so we'll do a bit of a, we'll give it a bit of a lemon, um, a little bit of a lemon shape. This will be interesting to see if I can um, talk with a, my, my um, the lisp that I've got from um, the anesthetic it seems to be wearing off a bit now, but Still, I wanted to do this for entertainment and hilarity purposes. Um, so we'll draw a bit of a lemon. Also, you could kind of imagine this as a bit of a um, bit of an eye. It's kind of the shape that you draw an, uh, an open eye in. But that's going to serve as the body. I'm going to draw a little bit of an oval here. A little bit of an oval. Very rough oval. For one of its shoulders, I think we'll draw a circle around here, which will, well, it's not really a circle, kind of like a half circle, to indicate where its neck will go. Um, around here, we'll put a little bit of a line, because that's going to be the stomach. Uh, we'll put a shape here for its thigh. Um, We'll extract out the, from the circle, and, or should I say the oval, and build the shape of one of its arms. Now, I'm using a screenshot from Jurassic World, so I am basically, th basically, this little guy is walking, it's, or something like that. Um, it's going to be a little... Uh, elbow, I guess, kind of elbow, um, put in a knee circle there, the complicated thing about it, this is one of his legs is hidden behind his body, so we'll focus on this, um, this f uh, leg for now, draw a little, a little circle there and put a foot there. Now, I'm going to be doing a tutorial at some point on theropod, I think theropods is what they're called, um, feet. I did one on Tyrannosaurus, very basic rough video, um, you can check, I might put a link on here um, for that one. If I don't put a link in the, in the description for that video, you can check my video lists and you'll be able to see that. Um, I'm just drawing a little line here for the shape for the other um, foot because it maybe I'll readjust the shape um, where the foot goes later but um basically that's one of the feet um, and also uh, I don't think I'm lisping lis lis well there you go lisping I w was lisping a little bit I will sound normal again in my other videos I just wanted to do this for um for the hilarity purposes, I was going to swear, but I know that I've got some younger viewers who um, watch these videos, so I'm going to behave and keep this G-rated. Oh, that truck is really interfering. You probably can hear that. Just bear with it. Oh my god, that's a bassy man. Listen to that if you can hear that. Dubstep truck. Totally. Um, okay, I'm going to put a little foot in here. And I'm going to have... I think he's taking a step, so I'm going to have... I'm drawing a little a fake. A fake. I call things that are invisible 
fake because they will be erased eventually. But his knee is taking a little step and lifting his squishy little foot. Squishy little foot. I think actually that truck is um, a cement truck and it's laying out some cement on a building that's been constructed outside. If you're curious, which you probably are not. <laughs> So I'm refining the shape of its feet. Um, I'm going to draw its tail in now. Uh, I'm going to draw a shape like... I'm going to draw the top half of its tail. And then... Go like that. A uh, little bit of a tapered tip. And tapering it out. Let's put in a rough... S kind of shape, a little bit of a rough S for um, its neck, and also this video, I've, I've drawn, I've done a few little um, cartoon dinosaurs lately now, so this could almost um, act as a cute dinosaur, um, but as a baby dinosaur, anyway. Uh, put in its head Gonna give it a bit of a circle for its head um, It seems to have a bit of a snout coming out there Why am I talking like this for? I'm giving it a weird accent as well <laughs> um, Gonna give it a little bit of a mouth um, I'm gonna do a... oh actually No, I can keep the circle because uh, the circle and then I'm going to give it a little bit of a, a eyebrow ridge because it's in a sort of a perspective it's not front on it's not side on it's kind of it's a diagonal one day I'll get these um, descriptions right draw its little eye socket I might draw this again at some point but with the kid um, cuddling him because if you've seen the movie there's a, a scene where a kid cuddles a Brontosaurus, a Patrosaurus, whatever you want to call it. I grew up on it being Brontosaurus, even though... When when did Brontosaurus have its name changed to Patrosaurus? I know there's a reason, I think the reason why, um, like there was a discovery of a, a Patrosaurus and then someone mistakenly classed some different bones, which were the same dinosaur but just different sized. And they class it as Brontosaurus, and they discovered later on that that was the same dinosaur. So they eliminated the Brontosaurus and called it called it a Patrosaurus. But we still love Brontosaurus. Brontosaurus is a cool name. So nah. <laughs> so you can tell I'm um, refining the shape of that S. It's a weird S, but you know, it's a tubular cylinder hose kind of thing. It and it's it's thicker here, a little bit thinner there. It tapers a little bit. Um, that's drawing its head properly, using the circle as a bit of a basis. Um, it also it looks like its skull um, and shape of its head is kind of triangular. And it seems to have a little bit of a jaw around there. And then bringing it up to about there and giving him a little bit of a... Seems like he has a little bit of a duck bill kind of thing. Even though I don't think Passaurus had a duck bill. But it just kind of imagine it in that kind of shape. So, there we go. I don't think I'm going to be rendering this one. If I do... I will, but I know that some of my tutorials lately have been a little bit chaotic. So I've and, and so I've wanted to try and go back to a better tutorial fashion. See how we go. Drawing a shape, a little circular, not circular, um, a curved line there for its eyebrow. Just drawing an eye there. We all know how to draw an eye, a basic eye at least. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a little bit of a shape, a little bit of shape there. 
which um, indicates a, kind of a bit of the skull um, uh, snout part. I'm also going to do some lines here. And I'm also going to give it a circle there for its um, nostril. The dubstep is back, if you can hear that. <laughs> now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line along here. Moving the line up. And kind of finishing up around there. This line kind of looks like it serves as a purpose to indicate the muscles and also this would be the trachea slash um, uh, esophagus there's a bit of a line there that kind of the top the bottom part would be the esophagus trachea where it would breathe like you know our own one and the top area would be the muscle to keep his head up and all that good stuff so now I'm going to refine the shoulders just a little bit and if you're wondering, I am using a mechanical pencil. Um, the main reason why I can't really remember the brand name of it. It's like I think it's like a Stedler or something. No, it's a Pantel. It's a Pantel um, mechanical pencil. Basically, it has a fine, a very fine tip nib, and it's a 0.5 um, millimeter. You can use any mechanical pencil you want. Really, you don't even have to use a mechanical pencil. You can use a real pencil like you know an old school wooden pencil I just I like mechanical pencils so that's what I'm doing anyway um, curved lines here for wrinkles around the, sh the arms and then what we might do I'm using a kneadable eraser you can use any eraser but I'm starting to really enjoy using kneadable erasers I'm gonna erase some of these lines here I'm gonna keep this kind of area I'm just gonna erase in between those lines. I'm also talking loudly so um, that construction work out there doesn't interfere too much. Sorry if this is, if that construction work is ruining this video slightly but well there's not much I can do about that. <laughs> I wanted to record this video anyway and I wanted to see if I can actually record a video while having a sort of a lisp. The good thing about going to the dentist is the fact that um, that visit was, I think, about three hours or so, quite intensive, and I'm going to use those opportunities to upload videos, because it takes about four, four to six hours sometimes to upload a video, so why not do that while I'm out at the dentist? So I'm going to refine that, um, and also people do, probably didn't really care about my dentist visitings, but... Or I just put that out there. Um, shoulder, arm, we're getting to the refining stage now as you can tell. Um, I'm going to refine the back of its arm. I'm going to give it a bit of an uh, elbow. Man, that is a loud truck. Um, four arms. Give a bit of a wrinkle shape there for its wrist. Um, what I will do as well is I'm not gonna. I don't think I'm gonna um, render or detail this one too much, but I will give it a bit of a slight bit of shading. If you're interested in shading your one, so now here we're going to go do the foot. Um, hopefully you can follow along with the shape. Um, it's, I should draw slower. I know, but. Hopefully you can kind of watch and see what I'm doing and then apply it as well. So there's a, kind of like a circle. Um, circle there. Circles are for little, um, Brontosaurus, Apatosaurus, Brachiosaurus, Diplodocus, all those, even Triceratops and Stegosaurus, they all have, what would you call that kind of foot? It's like, kind of like an elephant foot really. You know how an elephant or a rhinoceros foot looks like? That's basically how you draw your, your um, theropod feet. Um, I'm refining the back of the thigh. And I'm giving it a bit of a knee. Going to give it some knee wrinkles. Um, Going to give the feet some toes. Um... 
think of the toes much like an elephant's toe. So draw it like that. I'm going to be doing a tutorial that goes into the more in-depth look of the feet because um, theropod, I, I should look at an elephant foot to see if it's the same with the elephant feet, but they aren't, I'm just going to do this very quickly. And hopefully this thing isn't out of focus. It looks a little out of focus. Basically, what some people would draw an elephant foot to look like, or even a brachiosaurus or anything like that, they'd probably draw like that. And then they draw the, like, you know, the circles. Really, it's more like this. It's kind of, it kind of um, expands out a little bit. And then, like that. Anyway, I'll... I'll I'll leave that for another tutorial, but basically that's just my way of explaining that you know, don't don't give them um, squared ended feet. They spread their toes out, so do it like that. Do what I say. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, no, shut up. That was stupid. <laughs> okay. Anyway, um, gonna draw some toes in this foot. Um, I'm going to give it a little bit of a wrinkle fold line. Give it a little bit of a wrinkle fold line there. Going to curve in the thigh, uh, not the thigh, the calf. And, oh, its foot looks a little bit different actually. Um, I'm going to give it a bit of a. Think of it as like the bottom of a bell. That's actually probably a good way to think of it. Think of them as, you, you know what a bell looks like, you know, the ding-dong bell. Um, yeah. There you go, a ding-dong bell, that's the kind of bell I'm meaning. Think of kind of that kind of vibe, not as exaggerated as what I just drew, but think of it like that kind of vibe for a brontosaurus, a patasaurus, brachiosaurus, triceratops, um, a patasaurus, um, stegosaurus, all those dinosaurs with a similar kind of feet. I think you'd do it like that. Um, I'm going to be studying this image a little bit more down the track because it looks like its feet are somewhat different, but for the sake of drawing this tutorial, this kind of, I'm trying to keep this kind of basic, as basic as I can. More dubstep. <laughs> um, but I'm going to be focusing more in depth on that one because I, I, I enjoyed um, doing that video teaching about my about um, Tyrannosaurus feet. So I'm going to do that with theropods as well, and different kinds, I'm going to do different kinds of videos down the track. So, you know, make sure you subscribed if you haven't already, and you can keep up to date with all that good stuff. I feel like trying to educate everyone as I draw in the, the uh, shape of the back. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give it some lines like this, which kind of indicate the, um, the shape of the back. I could probably do, um... Yeah, what, what I'll do is I'll do some lines. This kind of indicates, you know, what what kind of shape it would be. Think of it as like a wireframe model, really. I'm going to be erasing that soon, but just to get that point across, think of it as a wireframe model, and then you that that's how you'd render around. Um, the other reason why I'm trying to... I'm trying to keep these tutorials under 30 minutes. This one's getting close to 20 minutes. I'm trying to keep these short and sweet. Maybe not sweet, maybe nasty. <laughs> no, there's nothing nasty about me. But, um... I'm trying to keep these very concise, and, because, you know, we don't want the tutorials to go too long. Um, if it, I don't know how much of a tutorial this is. Hopefully you're learning something from this. Um... I'm not the best at drawing structures and like, you know, step by step. I'm trying to, but I think there's better YouTube tutorials out there that, you know, do the core, you know, do circle, do a circle, do a stick figure, do this 
say shape use a square and then they build up from there I just I just go straight into it guns blazing and hopefully you guys can learn a, a bit or two and then you practice now I'm gonna erase my foundation lines clean it up a bit Um, I'm going to erase that line for the most part. Um, erase that line a little bit, and just tidying it up. And I'm using a needleable razor because they're just easier to get tips and points. Maybe I thought I heard a doorbell, but I don't think so. I think that was a phantom doorbell. I think it's, I think I drew the shape of the head actually slightly wrong, so I'm just going to quickly erase up here and refine it a bit, because it doesn't, it seems like it's neck and head form into one. Um, so I'm just going to draw the shape and form it into one. And then after this, I may continue on with my Velociraptor illustration that I'm working on. And that sound is my shoe as I eat, scratch my feet. I'm just going to do some kind of cylinder lines to emphasize the fact that it's a cylindrical form. Uh, don't mind me, the, um, the anesthetic is wearing off in my my um, jaw is starting to hurt a little bit. I'll, I, I won't whinge about it too much. Strangely enough, I had the anesthetic on the right side, and it seems like the left side is the one that's in pain, which is weird. I'm just drawing some little lines here to indicate fur laying in the top of the body. I'm gonna give it a little bit of a hip um, line here. A curved hip line. Um, Alright, so that's not bad. Oh, that's right, I was, I was calling it basic, but um, some people would not consider this basic. Some people would consider this um, quite good, or even a challenge, depending on your level of... depending on how far along in your drawing journey you are. Some of you are starting, some of you are basic, um, start, starting on a basic level, some of you are more advanced, so that's why, you know, I call this, for me this is kind of basic, but for others this is quite good, but I like it, I like where it's gone. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to give it some bait, yeah, this, we're going to make this video about 30 minutes, so hopefully that's not too bad. Um, I'm going to give it some basic rendering, or well, maybe not basic, we'll see how we go. I'm going to give it some rendering under the neck. I'm going to give it some shading. Just to give it a little bit of a three-dimensional aspect. So the neck is a cylinder, so we um, render the bottom of the cylinder. And because this is a bit of a muscle, um, I'm going to give the bottom of it a bit of rendering as well. Oh man, my lips are tingling. Thank you, anesthetic. Okay, so um, it, l it looks like my lisp is more or less gone, so I'm slowly starting to talk back to normal, so I should be able to drink and eat soon. Uh, not that anyone cares about that. Um, I'm rendering, I'm trying to render in the shape of the, underneath the eye socket. Um, Inside the nasal passage, there's a little bit of a ridge there, and I'm going to just sl slightly render underneath its skull and underneath its jaw. So, like so. I'm um, going to render in around here, which indicates um, its shoulder. I'm going to do a dark, darker rendering underneath here for the gap there. Um, I don't know if it's a gap. Um, I'm gonna render, make this. I'm gonna make this leg and this leg a little bit darker than the foreground legs, so it gives it a, a little bit of a vibe that it's in the background. And then up here, actually in the photo, it's um got a shading. Its shading is like over here, so I'm gonna keep it to the photo. 
I'm going to darken it a little bit there because it's inside so it's casting a shadow casting a shadow I'm um, going to give it a bit of a muscle um, a m little bit of a muscle shading I'm going to give it some slight shading here to just make it look like it's you know a cylinder some shading on this leg and my lips feel really weird right now <laughs> that's the anesthetic for you um, making it this, this is like a, a um, crevice I guess you call it maybe a corner so I'm just shading it darker in there gonna do the leg shading around here shading around here just so it kind of looks like it's folded in a bit and that's bent shading around there shading it well that's more of a line shading there gonna shade it um underneath I'm keeping this at a basic level I'm not gonna go too intense with the rendering and shading I'm just going to shade this part. I'm trying to keep this one simple because some of my other tutorials and videos have been pretty advanced. So I'm trying to mix it up a bit for different levels. Um, I did read someone was asking about the Parasaurolophus. Um, the dinosaur with the long horn on its head. Um, Yes, that video was quite short. I was trying to make it a bit of a tutorial how to draw, but keeping it under 10 minutes. But I think we've all kind of just realized that the best way to have a tutorial is to keep it long and detailed. So I will probably, at some point, I might do a cartoon version of that one as well. And then you can, I'm going to do a cartoon version of a lot of my dinosaurs. This warning because I like doing cartoon versions and I've enjoyed doing those um videos. Anyway, the I'm probably going to get some dislikes for this video and these rambling videos because it's a lot of it's it's partially learning. Like you can kind of see what I'm doing here, darkening out the shadow. It's partially learning, but it's also me just rambling on. You probably don't want to hear that in a tutorial, but hell, I'm an artist. You're my viewer. I'm talking to you, the viewers. So I want to, you know, I want to ch part of these tutorial videos act as a tutorial. The other part is just kind of like me having a chat with you. You know, because it's a bit of a one-sided chat because, you know, no one's talking but it it's I guess it's also preparing me to um, be able to talk in front of a camera and not be so camera shy because I still get very intimidated by being in front of a camera but I don't mind drawing and talking to you through the camera while I'm doing this so that's why I kind of just chit chat I might edit this part out we'll see how it go but I like having a bit of a chit chat with my friends, you, the viewers. So yes, um, you can kind of see what I've been. I've been trying to build up the structures a little bit. I've made it a little bit more detailed than what I was really intending. I'm just going to do a little bit of a shade here to indicate where it might be a um, a rib cage thing. Um, just going to slightly darken up around here, but I think this this drawing's pretty much done. I seem to say that a lot, a lot in all my videos near the end. I'm like, pretty much done. But that's okay. If you don't like it, you can dislike, I guess, or just close the video. You probably already have closed the video if you wasn't interested in this by now, so... Nah. I'm just gonna darken out the edge a little bit more here. As you can see, like, I, I, I was gonna go for a basic rendering, but I'm just gonna do it slightly darker. This is this will probably work out pretty well for a tutorial, for the most part. Hopefully, you guys have learnt something from this. I try my best to teach you guys at least something in a video. 
Right, I had to edit this video because my um, recording software was not responding, and the last time I did that, I lost a video. So yes, there is a lost tutorial that I was doing. I was drawing Claire from Jurassic World, and the video messed up. It the, the software was saying not responding, and then the whole thing just crashed, and I lost like a good two hours worth of drawing, which was not good. But that aside, um, um, I'm actually thinking I'm going to lighten up. I'm going to use my kneadable eraser. This is the whole point of a kneadable eraser. I'm going to just gently tap to take off a bit of the lead so the rendering is not as harsh as I made it. With, with using a kneadable eraser, you um, just pick up lead. You don't rub it off, you pick it up. So I just wanted to make the rendering a little bit lighter. So I'm just going to refine and darken out my edge for balance, visual balance. Construction workers yelling outside. Not too bad, not too bad. And just fix up that little corner. Gonna give him a little bit of a shading underneath. And then I think that will be the end of this video. So I'm just gonna. rough little lines basically when I do a shadow um, of a dinosaur I'll, I, I usually um, time-lapse this part but I will explain this for the, for the sake of this video what I do is I don't the tip of that, um, that tail won't cast much of a shadow this body structure will cast more of a shadow so Really, the shadow should be all the way over this side because the light's on that side, but we won't worry about it too much. This is more just for um, aesthetic finishing up the image um, aspect. I'm going to just shadow in underneath that foot. A slight little bit of shadow there. Slight little bit of shadow there. You don't you don't give it too much shadow. Under, if, if, if the foot's standing down, you don't give it too much shadow, you just give it a very slight slither of shadow, just so it looks like it's standing on something as opposed to floating on something. Then I use my finger to just spread out that lead. Then, uh, now they turn off the construction, that's great. So we've got the, um, got a bit of basic shady, a uh, basic shadow underneath uh, Brontosaurus, and then I just blend it out a bit. You can barely see it in the video. And then I will just go over it again with another layer of lead. Might give it a little bit of a shadow there. A bit of a shadow there. So I, I just put... I don't worry too much about blending the pencils because I'm just going to use my finger to blend it anyway. Bit of a shadow there. That foot's been lifted, so I will shadow it more under that end, and then I just go to and just blend it in a little bit more, like so. Might erase out some of that. Oh, see, sometimes when you use an eraser to erase out your rendering, it sometimes cuts into it. But it's okay. Then you just use your finger and just blend it again. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I think that's done. I'll do my little signature. Oh, yeah. Good enough. Here's my signature. That's this video. Hopefully you learned something. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you liked um, this video, if you want some other, if you want to give some other suggestions, I am reading them. I will get to them. May not be right away. Might not even be within like you know the first couple of weeks, but um, I will get to them eventually. Thank you for watching.
be sure to subscribe, be sure to like, and all that good stuff, and I will see you in another video soon to come. Well, you know, just go through my gallery, uh, my, um, my list of videos if you haven't already seen all my videos. There's plenty now to watch, so watch some more stuff if you can't wait for a new video, and until then, I'll catch you next time. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye.